चेयरमैन ऑफ प्रबोधन एजुकेशन सोसायटी श्री संजय बाड़ाबड़कर फाउंडर मेम्बर श्री दत्ता नायक प्रिंसिपल प्रोफेसर भूषण भावे वाइस प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर अनिल थोसरे हेड ऑफ कॉमर्स डिपार्टमेंट डॉक्टर उज्ज्वला हंसोणकर टीचिंग एंड नॉन टीचिंग स्टाफ ऑफ वी पी सी अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू यू ऑल वी आर ऑल गैदर्ड यूर फॉर द इनाग्रेशन ऑफ ऑल इन वन कंप्यूटर्स डोनेटेड टू अर्स बाई डेकन केमिकल्स अंडर दियर सी एस आर इनिशिएटिव वी हैव विद श्री योगेश अरोरा हेड ऑफ एच आर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड सी एस आर एट डेकन केमिकल्स एंड श्री गौरव कुटसड़कर मैनेजर सी एस आर एट डेकन केमिकल्स I now request Shri Balaji Naik, System Administrator, to tell us about the systems donated to us. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the entire college, I extend a warm welcome to our esteemed dignitaries and all our staff members. We are deeply grateful to Deccan Fine Chemicals Private Limited for their generous contribution donation of seven all-in-one Lenovo systems to our college, which were greatly needed due to the lack of computers in our ICT laboratory. These are high-end com uh, computer systems equipped with high i5 processor, 8 GB RAM, and 256 GB SSD with all the latest configurations. All these systems are installed in the ICT laboratory. Addition of these systems has uh, significantly enhanced our ICT laboratory, providing our students with better resources to excel in their studies. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Balaji. I now request our principal to uh, say a few words. Good morning, all of you. Respected uh, Chairman of Prabodhan Education Society, Shri Sanjay Babu Balavalkar, our founder member, Professor Datta Naik, the guests from Deccan Chemicals, Head HR and Admin and CSR for Deccan Chemicals, Shri Yogesh Bab Arora, my friend, Advocate Gaurav Kutsadkar, who is the manager for CSR for Deccan Chemicals. and all my teaching and non teaching staff at the outset let me uh, let me thank tekken chemicals in fact i have a very close association with all these people for last 8 to 10 years mr yogesh and me were associated for around one month or more than that uh, for a course in konkani which i conducted for tekken staff when i was in my earlier college ps college since then we are associated for different activities gaurav of course is my neighbor right from his childhood i have seen him uh, you know as a very uh, studious fellow uh, very uh, hard working and very intellectual also at his level he completed his law from sargonkars then we shift then he shifted his house i also shifted from there where we used to stay earlier but still we keep the friendship and uh, his entire family uh, i mean his mother is is a part of our family also we are family friends so the moment i joined this college i thought i should apply for csr with this uh, i mean reputed company from goa earlier known as syngenta deccan now it is deccan and uh, when we completed our renovation of that it lab we made facility to install 50 computers and we were in a worry whether we will get those 50 computers because the entire lab was looking empty when we applied in 21 we applied to so many companies for csr and the first response that that came to us was from deccan that we are giving you seven ai aio all in all in one systems so that was the first response and from that in kokni sir there is a word called buni Buni is the beginning, humble beginning or auspicious beginning, we can say. And once that Buni is ali, tum chhi from Deccan, then responses went on. I mean, uh, we received so many responses later on, and now you you have seen all the lab is full with latest computers. It is not that we were ha not having computers, but the systems were outdated. You know, computer is such a thing which gets outdated within three or four years. There are changes. There are you know. requirements of software and all which you cannot install on the old computers so we had to replace all those systems and now we see the updated version of our it lab for which we are thankful for the 
uh, I mean the Deccan chemicals for extending their CSR help and uh, I request Deccan chemical chemicals to continue this help to our college in different types I mean not only in computers maybe if they have a, uh, if they have a, a scheme called uh, anything under sports or anything under even academics also there are so many things which are required today I was speaking to my colleague uh, Dr. Sonali regarding teaching aids we require so many teaching aids we are a B.A. college sir it's a professional college and whatever money government gives us as a developmental uh, funds they are not sufficient to bring all these systems like this boardroom nobody will no government will provide you money for such things this has to come through CSR and for all such academic activities, we require full support of the corporate companies for such building such beautiful infra infrastructure. This year we have uh, formed a platform called Industry Academia uh, Platform. So this is the interaction between the industry and the academics. Whatever kind of staff that you require, maybe in the future 10 years, we will try to produce it at, at the college level. That will be a mutually ben beneficial sort of a arrangement. So we are into that now already. And I'm hopeful that with the efforts jointly put in by the industry and the academics, we'll be in a position to provide all such skills which are required by you industries from the college section only. Once the graduates are out from here, they can be directly absorbed at the various, uh, I mean the corporates and the industries without giving them any internship, without giving them any training, pre-training. This is our uh, objective behind starting this industry academia interface. A committee has already been established under this and we request Deccan also to be a part of this exercise which we are going to run in the future. So with these words, let me thank again on behalf of Prabodhan Education Society and our College of Education and Commerce, uh, Deccan Industries for their uh, generous support by extending their CSR funds. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now request Sri Yogesh Arora to address the cabinet. Well, very good morning to all of you. And uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Bhave and uh, the management of the college for having me here. It's always a wonderful feeling uh, coming back to college and uh, having an opportunity to talk to students and teachers. Teachers have always been, you know, um, my favorites right from my childhood. And uh, I come from a defense background. My father was in the forces. So uh, I've been taught right from the childhood by my father, my parents teachers, doctors, and soldiers, they are on top of my respect list, always. So even now, I mean, if I, if I, if I come here and I meet Dr. Bhave, I have that kind of a gratitude, a request, a respect as I have for my own teacher. And that goes for all the teachers. So uh, as Dr. Bhave said, he's been uh, my teacher also in, in Konkani, and he's been a wonderful teacher, but I'm afraid I was not a good student. I have still not learned Gongani, uh, but I keep on trying and I, I promise him that I'll someday I'll talk to him in Gongani and I'll give a speech in Gongani. I'll try to do that. Uh, and also let me uh, congratulate uh, uh, Dr. Bhavi and uh, the management of this institute for uh, this wonderful infrastructure. I'm totally impressed with the kind of infrastructure that you have and you've been maintaining it nicely. More than, you know, getting an infrastructure is very easy. But maintaining that properly is, is very, very important and which uh, I'm afraid to say we normally, you know, f forget. We tend to ignore and whatever infrastructure we get slowly, slowly it depletes down. So maintenance is very important. As an organization, we are, we are very happy to support uh, your institute uh, in whatever way we can. Um, uh, and I, I wish our organization keeps on growing and we, we, we are always capable of doing that and we'll continue to do that. Having said that, uh, we can as an organization only support you with some kind of an infrastructure. 
but as an organization as a as an institute uh, the teachers non teachers all of you you got much bigger role uh, to play uh, i think i think you are the ones who can who can tap uh, the the potential and capability and passion and interest among the students and you know and guide them into that direction obviously you are a uh, uh, ba uh, ba uh, institute and a bcom institute so obviously the students who pass out will pass out as a ba ba or a bcom correct so you can't um, that's how they, you know they'll go out but the the capabilities in them the passion in them you know the potential in them is what you need to assess and address them because as as children uh, you know we we grow up with different thoughts with different you know uh, activities around us whatever has happened but it's 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 you as 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 teachers can you know always guide them and assess them on their potential potential for example as i come back from a defense background i always wanted to be uh, join air force my father was in the air force so right from childhood you know i was say i want to join air force nothing else i had no other goal except for joining air force and i would not study also much i was more in, uh, you know in, uh, inclined towards sports so in school whenever you know as teachers in school they ask you what do you want to become in life so i'll say i want to join air force and teachers would say yeah you are made for that go for it you look like an air force officer so i used to think okay okay fine good so i have got my you know uh, focus i don't have to you know get into all other things however there was one teacher in my in school uh, she was an english teacher right and she only had to teach me english nothing else however you know looking at me as a person the way i used to interact in school she told me why don't you look at hr as a profession i never took her took her seriously and i thought what she is talking i am made for air force so i have got nothing else to do and believe me i wanted to join air force i cleared air force test med uh, physical and everything four times however i was rejected in medical always every time because i i am a i am a color blind so because of my color blindness air force did not select me and i was like now what to do my whole world came crashing down and i said what to do there is nothing else to do i never thought then somewhere i realized that a teacher had told me about hr you know and uh, that time i was also uh, doing bcom so and then bcom hr was a subject uh, to me so at the back of my mind i had you know my teacher one of the teachers telling me hr and then i have a subject hr which you know brought me to get into more into that subject you know i took more interest maybe and since you i had that and then more interest in the subject ultimately i ended up doing mba in hr and now i've spent 30 years in the industry i'll be completing 30 years in august and i think i think i am very satisfied with what profession i chose and um, and i have no regrets now that i could not clear air force so you know similarly you you all could add uh, value to your students and uh, support them and i'm happy, happy that you people have been doing that uh, thank you thank you for uh, your contribution to the to the to the kids to the growing up uh, professionals and thank you for your contribution to the society and once again thank you for having me here all the best thank you sir for that inspiring story i now request our chairman to say a few words respected today's main friday aurora sir gautam our own datta naik sir and invisible brain we and all this thing dr bhushan bhave <coughs> and dear staff there are some no students in this for your information it's a holiday time you mentioned students no i don't think there is but teachers are always students till the last so anyway 
I think we should call Aurora sir for a full scale lecture on the topic we can choose. His oratory has, at least it has impressed me. I never expected him to be aiming to become Air Force pilot perhaps, landed in HR. And that is because of uh, one of his teacher. That is the role of a guru or a, a teacher in any student's life. They know what the student can do best. So what is the best for the particular student? Students are nowadays careless. They don't know what is good for them, what is good for their family. But sir can play a very big role in upbringing the quality value of the students and as far as our college or uh, institution society is concerned we don't have sir income source as such we can't fall back every month we don't have asset or uh, income generating system we have to depend fully on the society's support the Society like Deccan uh, Chemicals, since they are into chemical, they know what is the reaction means, what is the definition of reaction, they know fully well. So unless they react, we can't act, we can't grow. So that is the, uh, how our society uh, works, Vidya Prabhupadini works. In whatever space uh, we have, we try to give best. Our principle doesn't compromise anything less than best. So everybody has to work towards that goal. Compared to other big players in Goa college, size-wise we are very small. But performance-wise, I think we should be ranking first three. Probably first or second if the news comes fast. So all credit goes to principal and staff. So we have hope to get support from Duncan Chemicals, not for one year, two years, but for a longer period, for a permanent uh, period, to support in whatever capacity, in whatever role they want. But we need your support, sir. So we are sure Deccan Chemicals will be uh, top of the CSR list in our uh, directory. And they have reacted, so we have acted. Thank you mu uh, very much for addressing this function. This is an off-season period. You should come when students are here. Then only you will feel what is the meaning of college and the vibrant uh, students of today's generation. So we expect your visit when the college is in full swing, academic year. And we hope to associate with Deccan Chemical, especially Aurora sir, in future to come. Thank you very much. Thank you sir. As a token of our appreciation, I would request our chairman to give away a memento to Sri Yogeshwar. I now request Sri Dattanayak sir to give a memento to Sri Gaurav Kutsarkar. Thank you sir. I now call upon Mr. Ashen Naik to deliver a vote of thanks. Good afternoon to the dignitaries on the, on the dais and of the dais. On behalf of Prabhupada Education Society of uh, Vidya Prabhupada College of Commerce, Education, Computer and Management, uh, I Mr. Ashen Naik I am here to propose a word of thanks to Deccan Chemicals and their team for supporting us through their CSI initiative and in providing us with seven all-in-one computers to the college. Uh, I, it will surely help the students in scripting their uh, skills and abilities. I am sure your contributions will play an important role in strengthening the students' academics and in building the, their careers. We therefore seek your continued partnership in the years to come. I would also like to thank 
the chairman of Prabodhana Jesus Society, Sri Sanjay Vallavalkar sir, the principal, uh, Sri Bhushan Bhave sir, Sri Datta Naik sir, the member of Prabodhana Jesus Society, for their presence. A special note of thanks goes to the college support staff who have worked tirelessly in doing all the arrangements for the program. Last but not the least, to all our attendees, thank you for being a wonderful audience. Thank you.